from its 1 million square foot corporate headquarters, manufacturing and distribution center in Elgin, Illinois, and with four processing facilities located across the United States, John B. Sanfilippo and Son Incorporated has become one of the fastest growing snack and ingredient nut companies in the world, processing well over 600 million pounds of nuts annually. How does a local Midwest company start from a small family business and become a global source for nuts? To better understand this, we need to take a trip back in time to the piazza of a quiet seaside village in Menfee, Sicily. The year is 1877, and the boy who is to become one of the company's founders is born. His name is Gaspare Sanfilippo. The boy grows up, and in 1901, Gaspari marries Rosa de Carlo. Two years later, they have a son. His name, Giovanni John Baptista Sanfilippo. Like many young men of his time, Gaspari has the dream of creating a better life for his family, emigrating to the United States on a ship called the San Giorgio. He arrives on New York City's Ellis Island in 1910 at the age of 33. Three years later, he is joined by his wife, Rosa, and their two sons, John and his younger brother, Joe. In 1917, Gaspare and his son, John, joined the Kelling Nut Company, a nut processor that provides finished bulk for tabletop vending machines. Their work is to hand crack in shell pecans on a contract basis for the Susu Nut Company. In 1922, Gaspare and John go into business for themselves, establishing Gaspare San Filippo and Son with its one customer. Six years later, John marries Rosalie Barada, and they have four children who will play important roles in the company's future. Rose, Anna, Jasper, and Mary. By 1929, Gaspari San Filippo and Son opens its first facility at 647 West Division Street in Chicago. Shelling operations expand throughout the 1930s. At that time, about 40 men and 110 women hand crack pecans 12 hours a day, six days a week, and produce 40,000 pounds of shelled pecans a month. The Susu Nut Company goes bankrupt in the late 30s, leaving Gaspari San Filippo and Son without a source of raw material or a captive customer. In spite of the setback, the family makes the decision to continue the business. They know if they are to remain competitive, the company will need to modernize its process. Recognizing the value of the automated shelling process, John purchases two crackers. Cracking machines can process 40 pounds of pecans per hour, a full day's production when cracking by hand. Soon after, the company's name is changed to John B. Sanfilippo and Son. Following Gaspari's death in 1947, John B. Sanfilippo assumes leadership of the company. Following the family tradition, John's children are now working for the family business. Jasper in the factory and Anna in the office. In his youth, Jasper develops a passion for technology and the mechanics of shelling pecans. He invents his first machine for processing pecans at age 12. He attends his first Pecan Shellers Association convention at age 17. In 1953, Jasper Sanfilippo graduates from the University of Illinois with a degree in mechanical engineering and industrial management. John B. Sanfilippo and Son continues to grow, and by the late 1950s, a new facility is built at 4161 West Montrose Avenue. An important milestone in the company's history, the Montrose facility allows the company to automate the shelling process and expand production. In 1960, investments are made to design and build new equipment. Company growth also includes the addition of other family members like John B.'s son-in-law, Thomas J. Karasek, who becomes general counsel for the San Filippo business and incorporates the company, and Matt Valentine, another son-in-law of John who later becomes company president. In 1963, when John B. San Filippo passes away suddenly, Jasper takes over the business. 
He realizes the company cannot thrive by just selling and buying pecans and chooses to expand the company's product line. John B. Sanfilippo and Son expands into commercial markets by offering in-shell byproduct as landscaping mulch. Between 1966 and 1967, the company also launches their very first retail brand, Prairie State. In the late 60s, generic brands begin showing up on store shelves as retailers seek to provide value-conscious consumers with a choice of lower-priced brands. In 1968, Certified Grocers in Chicago approaches John B. Sanfilippo and Son to pack a generic 8-ounce bag of pecan halves for the baking nuts section in their stores. This marks the company's first entry into private branded nuts. In 1969, the company began selling a new brand of nuts in cans and baking bags called Pick of the Grove to 150 jewel food stores. The diversification of roasting pecans and other nut meats greatly enhances company growth and as a result, a new 70,000 square foot processing and cold storage facility is built on Tui Avenue in Des Plaines, Illinois. In the early 70s, the company acquires the regional brand of Evons and their fleet of DSD trucks, which adds yet another retail component to the business. Coupled with the Prairie State brand, JBSS now launches and distributes snack and baking nuts and candies to central Midwestern states under the Evons Prairie State brand. The company expands operations again in 1976, building an additional 30,000 square foot facility in Elk Grove Village, Illinois. This modern plant is designed to accommodate the expanded truck fleet and a computerized warehouse. In 1977, candy packaging, dry roasting, and glass jar equipment is installed in this new location, and the company employs an additional 140 people. In 1980, the company builds a 148,000 square foot facility at 2299 Bussey Road in Elk Grove Village, Illinois. Taking two years to construct, the facility is a model of technology and innovation. Two additional expansions over five years increase the building size to 475,000 square feet. Next, John B. Sanfilippo and Son enters the food service industry in 1984 when it purchases the nut business from Douglas Foods and Bargain Foster. Additional warehouse facilities in Milwaukee, Wisconsin and Sparks, Nevada now fall under the company brand. In 1985, the company acquires the Midwest Nut and Seed Company and enters the bulk foods market. Vertical integration begins in 1987 with the construction of the Bainbridge, Georgia facility. This facility cost $4.5 million to build and an additional $3.8 million for the equipment to process the state's famous peanuts. Greg Karasik, grandson of the late John B. Sanfilippo, is instrumental in overseeing expansion at the Bainbridge facility. To support the company's continued growth, management decides to take the company public in 1991. The initial stock is $12 per share and trades on the NASDAQ stock exchange under the symbol JBSS. Vertical integration continues in 1992 with the building of a facility in Garysburg, North Carolina to process Virginia type peanuts. Then in 1994, investments in vertical integration are now applied to walnuts with the purchase of Crane Walnut in Gustine, California. The company also acquires Sunshine Nut Company in Selma, Texas to expand its presence in the commercial ingredients market. In 1995, John B. Sanfilippo & Son takes a major step forward when it purchases the Fisher Nuts brand from Procter & Gamble. Originally established in St. Paul, Minnesota in 1920, Fisher Nuts is a leading snack nut brand in the United States and the first national brand purchased by the company. With the combined resources of John B. Sanfilippo and & Son and Fisher Nuts, the Fisher product line is expanded to include baking nuts. The company also begins promoting the brand using sports marketing, consumer advertising and retail promotions. Today, it is one of the leading ingredient nut brands in the United States. In 2005, John B. Sanfilippo & Son consolidates its Chicago-based operations and breaks ground on a 1 million square foot corporate headquarters, manufacturing and distribution center in Elgin, Illinois. 
In 2006, Jeffrey Sanfilippo assumes the position of Chief Executive Officer, and one year later, both Jasper Sanfilippo Sr. and Matt Valentine retire from the company. With the passing of the managerial reins to Jeffrey Sanfilippo, Jasper Sanfilippo Jr. and Mike Valentine, as well as the addition of other members of the fourth generation, growth of John B. Sanfilippo and Son continues. In 2010, the company acquires Orchard Valley Harvest Incorporated. This acquisition provides the company with entry into the fast-growing produce segment of retail stores. In 2011, the Fisher Clear Can Innovation is launched, revolutionizing the way nuts are packaged. And in 2012, Fisher moves ingredient nuts to stand-up bags. Fisher also opens an office in China to expand its global presence, fulfilling part of the company's long-term growth strategy. Leading the way for the industry, John B. Sanfilippo & Son expands its consumer offerings with new snack experiences, such as Fisher Nut Exactly Snack Bites introduced in 2014. Today, John B. Sanfilippo & Son continues to grow its brands, expand into global markets and provide value for its customers and consumers. From humble beginnings in a storefront building in downtown Chicago, to multiple processing facilities around the country. The company's success is a testament to the significance of manufacturing in the Midwest. Okay, we should throw the bags off here after a slide. You know, we load them up in trucks. Yeah, we have trucks. He's so uh, coming here, then all the guys were yeah. sitting at tables with crackers. We didn't show her. We boiled the nuts there. We boiled the nuts here. And we had the line of crackers right here. With the Myers, cra Myers crackers? Myers crackers? No, it's champions. It's champions. Oh, gosh. You can't make it. 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 You can't make